Welcome to another box opening. Um, this one is for the 2-in-1 trimmer. It's made by a company called Purple Cows. Um, it's perfect for the office, uh, schools, photos and crafts. Without further ado, we're going to actually open the box and see what's in the box. Um, this is the trimmer. Um, I'm just looking because I'm just getting to know it myself at the moment. Looks as though there's a little tray at the front here, which there is. As you can see, I'll just hold it like that just now and let you have a look at it. Uh, with your ruler gauge, your markings um, to decide um, sizes, etc. You have the 7 by 10 centimeters, the 9 by 13 centimeters, and so on. Um, we have which looks like spare blades on either side. Um, uh, also uh, demonstrated that the the little picture at the side of the blade tells you what the actual blade does. I presume there's one in it. Yes. Um, we'll just turn that around. Let you see there is a blade. that's a straight edge blade, um, which is in the the slider itself. So that's basically the trimmer. Um, not a lot more I can show you about that just now. Um, it comes with a many is that three and four seven blades in total. Um, these particular blades here. Let me just open this up and give you an indication of. Oh, goodness me! I never thought celery would be so strong. Um, these, if you can see them, I'll bring it just a little bit closer for you. Um, the edges of the blades, which you can see there, uh, it indicates um, the, the scoring or the cut that the blade will make. So there's four in there, interchangeable with the uh, machine itself. Okay, so I'm just move that aside, I'll just close that over, and that basically just slides up and down. I'll give you an idea, just let me get a piece of paper here, just to give you an idea of the cut. As you can see, the paper won't go under the, the um, the line there at all um, because what you got to do is if you can see here you got to push that down like so and push the other one down like so and that raises the bar in the middle now as you'll see the paper will go in like so uh, what we want to do is just basically going to give it a cut I hope you can see this um, so what we'll do is we'll just hold that down you got to press down on that push across just slowly like that take your paper out as you can see here, it hasn't cut too well, as you can see. All right, go and try that again because it may have just been the way I was doing it. All right, so that's the paper in place. All right, that's the paper in place. Let's just hold that down, pull it across, let go, take it out, and as you can see, perfect cut. All right, perfect cut. Now in this part, what I'm going to do in this part of the video is demonstrate how to change the blade. Um, what we do is we're going to use this blade here, we actually turn it, pull it out, that's the blade. Set it there just now, turn that over. Same idea with the, the, the one at the back here, what you've got to do is you've got to turn it, take it out, lift the other one, put it back in, careful with your fingers, turn it till it locks, you heard it clicking there. This one you can put back in its place. Like so, let's sit back in, locked in position, and now we're going to try that blade just to let you see how it was. The blade that we've selected down, scored, take it out. Now, this particular blade, as you can see, what I've done with this one is it's a one of those blades that allows you to perforate the paper. Hope you've seen that okay. I'll do that one more time. May hold it down, push, and again, it's one of these blades that just perforates the paper for you. As you pull it up, you can see what I'm doing there. That's it done, okay? So I'm going to demonstrate the guillotine. Uh, I presume there's a lock on it, which uh, there is, there's a lock there, that's a little lock, so what you do is, 
with the handle down in position, that's it locked in, it can't move. So you pull that down and that's the handle now free to move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up. I'm doing this kind of awkward just now because of uh, trying to demonstrate things. So bear with me on that. We'll just again put a piece of paper in underneath like so. The blade would just slice like so. Lift the paper out and the other pieces came off. So it's pretty straightforward basically. On the, the guillotine itself you have the markings. Again, for various size of pictures, photographs you're going to be using, um, as in my case. Uh, it says, press here when cutting. That's obviously to hold your paper in position. Um, but, as I say, I'm demonstrating it um, in a kind of an awkward position just for demonstration purposes. So, that lets you see. The other thing I was saying earlier about being able to join uh, both Timmer and guillotine together these just on the front here you get little slots that just slip into place like so and that gives you the whole thing together like that um, there's not a lot more I can say um, other than just take it off just now um, other than it's a nice little bit of kit I will use it and um, I do uh, a lot of photography so I will use it for um, uh, trimming pictures etc before framing them and the price um, now what was the price of it again um, bear with me a wee second I'm just getting the price for you um, I don't think it was that expensive to be honest the price was uh, let's see there we go, for the 2-in-1 uh, combi trimmer, believe it or not, it was £21.58, 17.99 plus VAT. So that's from Costco, that's from Costco Glasgow, and it was 17.99 plus VAT, 21.58. So that's quite a good price actually, uh, for that, that particular piece of equipment. As I say, it will be well used. Hope you enjoyed that box opening. Any questions, remember to ask and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Thanks very much.